Thompson's getting ready for a big event in our area. It's the annual powwow in Oneida. She's live at the grounds. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. We're giving you a little bit of a preview this morning as far as what will be happening this afternoon out here at the powwow grounds. 2 p.m. is the grand entry yeah. today, and noon tomorrow is the grand entry. And uh, you know the drummers and singers and dancers, and we're with Dennis, who has been drumming and singing for us all morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great, great. So how important is the drumming and singing to a powwow? Oh, it's very important because if you don't have uh, drummers and singers, then you really don't have a powwow. You know, that's how important it is. And they're pretty much uh, the main part of the powwow as well as the dancers. But the celebration in itself is uh, kind of um, it's a history in itself. So um, people across the land, I should say the continent, have, there's powwows all over. There's like probably going on all weekend. So. so at the powwow, once it gets going, how many drummers and singers might you have? Um, there might be about a dozen drums. And for that reason, also, too, they're com competing for uh, prize money at this time, as well as a dancer. So what they do is they bring their best singers, and you can have anywhere from six, eight, to up to 15 singers and one drum. So, And like I say, there are probably about a dozen drums that will show up, you know, competing for prize money. So, yeah. How did you learn how to do that? Um, it's, I guess it's, I learned about oral history, and then I also picked it up over the time uh, through records. So that's kind of inspired me to um, get going. I was a young uh, teenager, about 12 years old. I started learning about this, so and it inspired me, so I wanted to do it. So I've been doing it ever since that time. And you're sharing it with other people now? Oh, yeah, we're sharing it with uh, our relatives. We're sharing it with our families, our my, my, my kids. And then I'm sure that they'll teach their kids like that. So it's a generational thing where they'll carry it on. And hopefully that's, a, that's the uh, goal here. So. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Have fun this weekend. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so it's a great celebration, a great way to honor, uh, you know, veterans, elders, and just the culture itself. They have tribes from all over the country come to this powwow, and anyone is welcome. So if you want to come check it out, it's right off Highway 54 in Oneida. Lots of great music and dancing and food and arts and crafts and, and all sorts of fun stuff. They should have great hot weather. Be prepared for that. <laughs> all right. Looks fun. Thanks, Allison. Sure.